guys, it's Kiara, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 14 books of 2014. I wasn't originally going to do my top 14, I was just going to pick all my favorite books, and then I realized I only have 14 favorite books that I read this year. I could not put them in an order, I just, they're all my favorite, except for the top two books. Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. This is actually a novella, but it was just so sweet, and I had to have it in my top 14 because I absolutely adored it. I love Colleen Hoover. She is a new author that I discovered this year, and she is just amazing. I love her books to death. Another novella, and this is Sparks Rise by Alexander Bracken. I absolutely adored this novella. It broke my heart, but I still absolutely loved it. I Lend the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, and this book was just so adorable. I loved it just as much as Anna and Lola. The thing I love about Stephanie Perkins' books is that they're so sweet and funny and cute, and I highly recommend them to any romance reader. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delara. I absolutely love this book. It is like Perks of Being a Wallflower, but I actually liked this better. Loved how the story was told. Ava Delara's writing is absolutely beautiful. I have some quotes marked in here because it's just so beautiful not to mark. I actually met Ava Delara this year, and she was so sweet, and she even signed this book. It's like in a silvery writing, so I really loved it. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I absolutely love Morgan Matson. I discovered her this year and I've read all her books except for one. This was the first one I read and I loved it. It got me in the mood for summer and it was just so good. I actually reviewed this book so I will link it in the description for you guys. I highly recommend this as a summer read if you have not read it yet. In the Afterlight by Alexander Bracken. I absolutely adore this book. It was a great conclusion to the Darkest Minds trilogy. I absolutely I absolutely love being in this world and the characters. They just have such great dynamics. I love Chubbs and Vita's dynamics and, and I love Ruby and Liam and Zoo and all the characters are just wonderful. It's so funny. These books just pull up the heartstrings. If you are ever looking for a great dystopian series, I highly recommend The Darkest Minds Trilogy. Pressed by Marissa Meyer. I did not actually read this book in 2014. I read this book in 2013 because I received an ARC and read it in December. It was released in 2014, so that's why I'm including it in here. I absolutely loved Crest, even though it's been a really long time, but I absolutely adore M Marissa Meyer and her writing. I love the sci-fi aspect in the fairy tales, and they're just so good. I was really satisfied with what happened in this book and where it's going, and I cannot wait for winter. The City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare it was just a great conclusion. I loved it so much better than City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls because those ones just were kind of lacking but this one all the characters just seemed grown up now and it was just oh it was so awesome. I'm gonna miss these characters a lot but I think this was a pretty great conclusion to this series. The Sea of Tranquility by Katia Malay. This book was just so good. It's been a while since I've read this but I just remember getting through this book so fast. I really enjoyed this story and if you're ever in the new adult section definitely pick up The Sea of Tranquility. Alright so we're down to the top five and these books are probably my top five favorites of the year. Number five is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I got into A Game of Thrones this year, and let me just say, it is the best decision I have ever made. Even though this is a huge book, I enjoyed the majority of it. Some perspectives I didn't like as much, but I definitely loved a lot of the characters. My absolute favorite is Daenerys. She is just awesome. I love her as a character. She's probably my favorite character of all time. If you guys are intimidated by the size, please don't because this series is just so flipping good. I also love the TV series as well. I think they do a great job with it. And I am looking forward to reading the rest of the series next year. Coming in at number four is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I've actually read this book twice this year. I read it when the trailer for the movie came out and then I read it again before the movie actually came out. This book was just so good. There's just something about the story I absolutely love and it also inspired me to start playing the cello which is a big life decision that I made this year. So just everything that happens is this book just oh the feels. This has definitely made a huge impact 
on me and my life, so that is why it's in my top 14 of 2014. Coming in at number 3 is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I love the entire trilogy. This trilogy is so good. I love Colleen Hoover's writing. Again, that's why a f quite a few of her books made it to my top 14. This book is about a girl named Lakin and she meets this guy named Will after they move. Will is kind of in a tough situation. He acts older and he has a little brother that he has to take care of. Then Lake finds out that Will is her teacher so there's a lot of conflict there but the story is really awesome. I really loved the younger characters in this book. I also loved Eddie but I also loved the main characters Will and Lakin. These books are just so butterfly and good and that's why they made it to my top 14. Top two books of 2014. I had to pick a favorite. There is one favorite but they're both so close to being there so I'm just gonna mention them both at the same time. These books are both polar opposites because one is a contemporary and one is a fantasy but let's just show them. The contemporary is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover and the fantasy is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Hopeless was the first book I read of 2014 and it was a great way to start off the year. It was just absolutely amazing. It was my first Colleen Hoover book and I just grew so attached to all the characters. This is what started the whole Colleen Hoover spree and I even got to meet Colleen Hoover herself this year and she was absolutely amazing. Her books are just so hilarious but they're also heartbreaking. It has absolutely everything you want in a book and that's why this became my favorite book of the year. Other favorite book, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I was gifted these books by my boyfriend in the beautiful, lovely UK editions. This book just has such a great world building and plot. I just love every little detail that Brandon Sanderson put into this book like I'll have a question about the world and magic system and then he'll answer it a few pages later I cannot wait to read the rest of the series in 2015 all right that is it for this video I have told you guys my favorite books of 2014 let me know what some of your favorite books were and if you guys made a video please link it down below in the comments if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I hope you all have a fantastic day and until the next time happy reading Thank you.